to the first one. You should be flattered. You cloned Algamon. Yeah, it wasn't too difficult once I'd mapped the whole of human DNA. But the Human Genome Project was only completed last year. Thousands of scientists on five continents. Yes, but I was working alone, so naturally I was much faster. <laughs> Ow! Oh. Abelman, you remember that day I persuaded you to let me circumcise you? With your new Stanley knife? It was raining, there was nothing on the television. Yourself too, didn't you? Well, I would have thought that was obvious. I took a long time getting up the stairs. Hannah, you must get rid of them. All right, miss, where is he? Why should I tell you? Because we've got the murder weapon covered in Canute's fingerprints. We've got a stack of witness statements, including Des Lynham, who was passing at the time. And we've got a button off his jacket recovered from the scene of the murder. So unless you want to be arrested as an accessory... Well, that depends on the type of accessory. While I wouldn't mind being a Prada handbag, I'd hate to be one of those car fresheners in the shape of a pine tree. Throw the book at it, Carol. <laughs> Which one, sir? There are so many. <laughs> All right, I'll take you to him. So your clone murdered Professor Brinsley? Yes, so I'd get the blame. You've got to find him before he leaves the country. OK, sir. What's he look like? <laughs> Sorry, sir. I was just trying to lighten the moment. <laughs> All right, I'll alert me contacts. We'll stake out every airport, every seaport and every other sort of port. Oh, well, then, you are irreplaceable. Thank you, sir. Which is why I made arrangements to replace you when the time comes. <laughs> I didn't realise I was so well in doubt, sir. You're not. I made improvements. <laughs> Dear diary, sorry I haven't written for a couple of days, but it has been all go. Did you really think I just slinked back to KwaZulu Natal? Huh? <laughs> I've had it with living on a game reserve. I'm going to stick around and enjoy your trial. Big shot, know-it-all professor gets sent to prison for life. <laughs> Fair enough. You ruined mine. Ruined it? I gave you life. If it wasn't for my genius, you'd just be a waste bin full of cuticles. Staked out, sir. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, why did you have to do that, Albumen? I'm gonna have to listen to his resentful self justifying whining again. Untie me, Albumen. He's the clone. Oh, is that really the best you can do? Albumen, ask me a question he won't know the answer to. Right. What's my middle name? Maximilian. <laughs> well, was I taken hostage by Shiite militants in 1987? Middlesbrough. <laughs> You've done your research. I don't understand it. Professor Knut always goes bell ringing on a Wednesday afternoon. Oh, the wife used to be a keen companologist. <laughs> Green, with the yellow stripes. <laughs> Come, Come in. in. <laughs> Did you slip a hallucinogenic drug into my lunchtime pint, Sergeant? No, sir. I was afraid you'd say that. It's Adonis's clone. I can see that, miss. But which one? Shall I call the fingerprint boy, sir? Shut up, Carol. Look, Inspector. We're not exactly alike. You don't care how much shame you bring on me, your creator, do you? Right. I admit it. I was born without genitals. <laughs> That's why I made this clone. 
Being devoid of reproductive kit, I decided to make myself a humunculus with enough for two. <laughs> Sadly, they came out smaller than average. What a load of bollocks. <laughs> so, don't listen to him. Quite a predicament, eh, Sergeant? We have the fingerprints, the clues, the witnesses. But if we can't tell them apart, we'll have to let them both go. You can't do that! He'll murder me! That man is a psychopath! No, Inspector, I've just remembered. There is a way to tell the difference. I knew the burden of having no visible sexual organs might drive him to do something desperate, so I signed him. What? There is what looks like a mole on his left buttock, just inside the cleft. <laughs> it's a microdot. I've carried this with me everywhere since I first read Hound of the Baskervilles. And now, at last, expose his crack, Carol. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. Yes, all right. I killed Sheridan Brinsley. Damn you to hell, Father! You never played with me, you never read me stories, you treated me like a freak! To be fair, you were shaving by the time you were three. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I should never have doubted you. <laughs> I'll take it as a tribute to my genetic handiwork. Oh. It's just one thing I don't understand, Professor. What is it, my child? Why didn't you tell the police about the microdot right away? <laughs> because there is no microdot. I just made it up. But suppose he called your bluff, sir. Well, then I'd have been buggered. <laughs> Although not by him, obviously. <laughs>